Now here's a special treat. Fresh from retirement, from the land down under, the one, the only, Fredo, the small lizard and reptile hunter, starring in Polymer Perils in Paradise. Lately, you know, I've taken a little more to rock and a little bit, retire a little bit, take a little easier. But still, me and my faithful half-dingo, half-Tasmanian devil companion have taken to another kind of hunting. Grr, where's my cookie? Yes, indeed, it is some very volatile prey that we're tracking nowadays. Carbon compounds, polymers, if you know what I mean. The poly part of polymer refers to the fact that poly means many, and polymers are very long molecules made up of thousands of monomers, which are the simple subunits, and they can be repeated over and over again. Yes, mateys, you heard me right. It's polymers we hunt these days, those long chain molecules like snakes hiding out there in the grass. Why imagine the variety? You have everything from simple hydrocarbons to complex biological molecules like enzymes, DNA, and all that such. There are many different kinds of polymers, from the relatively simple hydrocarbons or molecules made exclusively of hydrogen and carbon to really complex structures in DNA and RNA and proteins, all the stuff that life is made of. Besides those essential nucleic acids like RNA and DNA, they're in every cell of your body. There are such molecules such as amino acids that join together to make the proteins that make up your body and even my body. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? There are 20 different amino acids that are the monomer subunits that combine in many different sequences and even shapes to make the protein polymers that do thousands of jobs in plants and animals' bodies. Now, you all recall from looking at the periodic table that carbon can bond with four other things. Count them, four. They can bond with other carbon atoms and all kinds of stuff for an almost infinite variety of molecules. It's almost scary, isn't it? Starch and cellulose are two natural carbon-based polymers that are made up of monomer subunits called glucose. Glucose is a sugar that is an essential fuel for your body. Starch and cellulose are different only in how these glucose monomers are joined together to make up their long chain polymers. Well, even though me and my wild dingo Tasmanian devil companion and I have been pretty comfortable in our billy bong down under here in Australia. We've just kind of got an itch to get back into the outback so that we can discover and hunt down more of those dangerous polymers. For myself, I'm staying here on the couch. So this is Fredo your carbon chain hunter signing off me and me dingo tasmanian devil are gonna go out there and find us some more polymers and bring them back dead or alive either way works for me see you later
no good reason for that at all. Biological molecules, thousands of monomers long. Where was I going with this? Well, even though, though, well, leave. Thank you.